anxious when you sleep. Well, of course you do. You always look so precious. How do you always look so precious? It's a Christmas miracle. Well, okay, it's not really Christmas, but it is a miracle. Because you're a miracle. Which is good. <laughs> because I'm going to need a miracle to explain things now that you've just opened your eyes. Hey there, it's okay, it's okay, don't mind me, I'm just your friendly neighborhood home invader. That was a joke, because I'm not a home invader. Because home invaders are presumably harmful, and I'm not harmful, to you anyway. Let me introduce myself, my name is Giggling Bug, and I'm Santa's helper. They usually used to call us quote-unquote little helpers, but they stopped doing it once we pointed it out. It was honestly kind of insulting. Anyways, so basically, I'm an elf. You know, the kind that works in the North Pole to make lots and lots of toys for all the good little boys and girls of the world. We also make some toys for men and women on occasion. But not the good ones. Those are more of the naughty ones. Now I know it's not Christmas yet, that's tomorrow, but I should be the one to tell you that. You wrote to Santa so late, honestly, uh, but that's not a problem. Um, you can honestly write to the big man whenever you want, as long as it's not a love letter. <laughs> but it's okay, I know it wasn't a love letter you wrote to Santa because I always read all the letters you write to Santa, just to make sure. As well as the letters you write to people other than Santa, of course. Now, I don't know if you really believe in Santa when you wrote to him. Maybe you were just doing it out of tradition or out of desperation. But it doesn't matter, because I'm here. You can see me. I'm real, real enough to touch, even. Standing offer, by the way, so... You must believe in me. And believe me, I'm just here to help you. See, I saw what you were asking Santa for in your letters. The exact words elude me, but I think your le letter to Santa was something like this. Oh, dear Santa, oh please, I'm so lonely and touch starved. I just want to feel the warmth of another human being. Please have mercy. I just want some headpants and some cuddles. Maybe they can even give me their number after we call and text them and... Oh, forget it. I'll just settle for maybe a handshake. Please, Santa. Please send help. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to offer you all the hugs and cuddles that you could ever ask for. And I know you could ask for a lot since your letter was very long and detailed. But even so, I'll still give you all the hugs and cuddles you could ever dream of. It'll be my Christmas present to you. Though, I suppose like I said before, it's not really Christmas, but that's okay. This can just be an early Christmas gift. Just a little early present from me to you. This obviously is very normal and quite tradition. So now, just lift your blankets for me. Yes, just like that. And I'll scooch on in. There we go. Now we're next to each other in your bed. We're two cuddle buddies. You can put your arms around me as tightly as you want, by the way. This is all for you. This is your present. I am your present. And I'm sure that given your letter... You won't mind if I put my arm around you, just like this. There we go. Isn't that so cozy? I know you asked for the warmth of a human, but I hope an elf is fine too. Santa couldn't make it, by the way. I'm really sorry about that. 
Oh, okay. I'm not really sorry. That just means I don't have any competition for cuddling my favorite human. But yeah, Santa is busy. <laughs> He's a little tied up at the moment. And I don't mean I literally tied him up with ropes or anything. <laughs> that would be funny though, wouldn't it? It would be such a nice little play on words. Very suggestive. <laughs> uh, very sinister. But I don't need to tie Santa up with rope. I mean, I do have to make sure he doesn't come down your chimney or anything because I have to protect you from home invaders and let, let me remind you again, I am not a home invader. But yes, I'm able to keep Santa away for you, uh, even without tying him up. See, I have a bit of dirt on Santa. I have some pictures that he really just cannot allow Mrs. Claus to see. Video, even. He knows what will happen if he comes down your chimney. But don't worry, I'll be delivering your presents. We need to make you sure you still get your presents because you are just the sweetest, most precious human I have ever seen. And you are so cute. I just want to cuddle you, and cuddle you, and cuddle you, and cuddle you. <laughs> Sorry. It's. A good thing you ask for cuddles then, isn't it? May I interest you in some head pet as well? I'm sure you'd like that. Look at you nod your head so eagerly. It's like you're head banging to heavy metal or something. That's so adorable. How can I say no to that? Oh well, it looks like I have no choice then. Here. Take your head pads. How was that, sweetheart? Oh, did you want me to pet your head even more? Very well, I can't say no to those puppy dog eyes of yours. Here you go. It's cold, you know, in the North Pole. Super cold. It's always freezing there. So it really makes me appreciate this even more. It's so nice and warm and cozy under the blanket with you. But you're even warmer. Even cozier. I love the feeling of your body heat warming me up. There's really nothing quite like it. It's absolutely magical. Nothing even comes close to the magic of your warmth. The next most magical thing I can think of is the Christmases. I had as a child, but even at the height of nostalgia, those experiences just can't compare to how wonderful it feels to be next to you like this. To just how wonderful it feels to wrap my arm around you, or have you wrap your arms around me. You can hug me tighter, by the way, if you want. Hug me as tightly as you want. You don't have to be shy with me. Like I said, this is your present after all, and even if there was no such thing as Christmas, or if, and if I wasn't an elf that is supposed to help with gifts, I still want to give this to you. I would walk barefoot all the way from the North Pole to visit you, just so I could give you your cuddles. That's how utterly devoted I am to you and your needs. Not that I walk here barefoot. I took a reindeer, obviously. But still, that's how utterly devoted I am to you and your needs. And I know it's a need to be touched like this, to be cuddled like this, to have this physical affirmation of love with another person. That's a human need, as much as eating, as much as breathing, as much as some other things. And that's why there's no way I'm going to deny you this. I will always give you your cuddles. A hundred times out of a hundred times. I'll give you your cuddles and hugs and everything else. Come hell or high water. Every time. 
Might I interest you in some more head pads? I thought so. A large part of why I'm always so ready to cuddle you like this is that I have that human need too. Well, elvish need in my case, <laughs> but you get the picture. That I also have that need for your warmth. I need to cuddle you just as much as you need to cuddle me. I need to hug you just as much as you need to hug me. I'm just as needy as you, sweetheart. I need to feel that you want to hug me too. So go ahead, hold me as tightly as you want. We're in the same boat here. We both need this physical affirmation of love. I really do love you. Here, let me show you verbally as well. I love you. I love you. I love you more than anything. More than any of the toys in Santa's workshop. I love you more than all of them combined, even. And that's saying a lot, because they have this one toy that is like a drone except it detects when you want a certain candy, and it shoots the candy into your hand, and it even plays a personalized little jingle, and... Okay, I think I'm getting off track here. But the point is, I love you so, 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 so much. And you know what? This doesn't have to just be a one-time thing. I mean, yes, I know this was supposed to be a Christmas present. Or was it supposed to be a Christmas present? Or is it maybe supposed to be like an early Christmas present? I suppose we never quite settled that. I think. I honestly kind of forgot. Cuddling a bed with you like this is so mind-numbingly amazing. It can make... We tend to, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, forget certain things. <laughs> hey, what? What? Don't, don't punch me like that. <laughs> but those details aren't important. What is important is that we can do this a lot in the future. You know, I, I know I look young, but I'll live pretty long time. I've worked for a long time in Santa's workshop, and I'm just about ready to retire. I could honestly retire today. I'm sure Santa might even give me a bit extra in my final paycheck, just to make sure my lips aren't too loose around Mrs. Claus. I could stop working today, and think about all the free time I'd have to cuddle with you. Doesn't that just sound amazing? Doesn't that sound like a dream? It doesn't have to be just a dream, though. I can make it come true. Because I want to make all of your dreams come true. You don't have to decide today. Maybe I'll come again next time you want to cuddle? Which I imagine won't be very long. So I imagine you want me to come again tomorrow? That's what I thought. I'll come again tomorrow. But that's not to say I'm leaving right now. No, sweetheart. I'm going to cuddle you like this for a very long time.